Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, welcome to the aftermath, right? Welcome to the aftermath of uh, a historic uh, 2024 uh, election. Before we kind of dive into it, uh, if you are a brand new uh, watcher, stumble across our channel, thank you very much for finding us, tuning us in spending a few minutes with us. The only thing I ask is if you could be so kind and click the like button, share, subscribe, and I will hopefully continue to add value to you. So here are the final numbers, right? Um, I was actually very, very surprised um, how fast the election was over, okay? Um, I thought just like a lot of people did, there's going to be a big circus surrounding uh, this election. Uh, they already... Uh, we're filing lawsuits um, for things that didn't even happen. Um, they were talking about this could be one of the, definitely one of the more aggressive litigated elections of all time, foul play and this, that, and the third. And nothing happened. I mean, nothing happened. Um, I tweeted this out by 8 o'clock, 8.15. Uh, and I, and I, I joking around, I go, you know, Trump was just eating state after eat, state after state. And I joked around, I go, this election's probably going to be over before you read this tweet. And, you know, if you are a Democrat, um, if you are a Democrat, you know, you pretty much have nobody else to blame but yourself. And these are the numbers, guys. The numbers, numbers don't lie here. In the last election, Joe Biden um, received 81 million votes, right? Popular votes, 81 million votes. Kamala Harris received 66 million. Okay, that's a 15 million difference, right? It's a big, big difference. Was that enough to maybe uh, sway the election? You know, maybe, maybe not, right? I don't know. Uh, but if you look at the electoral college votes, you have 292 for Trump and only 270, and you had 226 for Kamala Harris. So it looks like just the Democratic supporters just didn't come out uh, in support. So again, if you're a Republican, if you're a Democrat, uh, like I said last night on the video, we are all Americans and now that the you know election is uh, behind us, we move on, right? We move on. We move on whether you like it, you hate it. Uh, you had a chance to turn it around, right? You had a chance to to make uh, things uh, you know different. But again, unfortunately, they did not uh, turn out. So here are the final numbers today, right? We already knew it was going to be a wild nut night. Uh, the Dow was up fifteen hundred points, right? Three and a half percent move. Uh, the S&P was up 2.5%, which is absolutely insane. And the tech-heavy NASDAQ was up uh, 3%, led by Trump stocks. What I mean by Trump stocks are Trump companies that were supporting him, good for them, and all that good stuff. First, let's start off with Coinbase, right? Coinbase had uh, the absolute biggest uh, impact from the Trump re-election, up 30%. Not too shabby. Elon Musk, who's been all over Twitter, all over social media, all over everyone, you know, that's my guy, he said, that's my guy, Trump's my guy, up 15% of the day, okay, absolutely incredible move, and you kept on seeing it throughout tech over and over and over again. Did everything participate in technology? No, no, it didn't. Uh, look at Meta, right, and you're probably wondering, well, why is Meta down? I, I don't say it. why did, you know, Meta was down as much as like 10 today, like, well, why was Meta down? Well, if you guys remember, the previous election, they removed Trump from the, the meta platforms. So there was a big, you know, there was a big kind of revenge factor here. There was selling off, uh, you know, selling off meta and buying Tesla, buying coin, buying, uh, you know, the semiconductor names. Uh, very, very huge rally uh, all across the board. As you can imagine, pretty much everything broke out, right? Uh, Amazon finally broke out, finally broke out of this whole July channel. Um, you saw the amount of stock Bezos sold in the last several days. They finally cleaned them up, took out the 201.20 level, sat around a little bit. And once it got through the pre-market highs of 202, this thing went absolutely nuts, went nuts into the close. And this is obviously 
the highest close in the whole formation. This is pretty much, you know, saved my day today. Um, you know, big move on that. Uh, NVIDIA broke out of yearly highs as well. You know, we were looking at the October highs. This thing went absolutely nuts. Uh, Google, right? We talked about Google last night. Same formation. Gapped up, right? Gapped up today. Only reason why it got rejected today at the daily supply as well, because it was daily supply. All you know, Google needs to do is get back above daily supply and start going back uh, to earnings highs. Uh, names like Microsoft that had disappointing earnings had obviously a big move back up. AMD uh, did the same. And the septic tank of the universe that reported crappy numbers yesterday, well, had more crappy results today. And again, this is probably the last time I'm going to speak about SMCI. What's the point, right? Eventually, it's going to just go away. I mean, that's pretty much uh, what's going on. Uh, after the close, uh, you had uh, two big uh, earnings reports, two stocks doing two different things. Uh, Qualcomm came out with numbers, uh, beat their top line, beat their bottom line, uh, authorized a $15 billion buyback and gave guidance to the high end of the range. Arm was exactly the opposite. Arm uh, beat on their numbers, right? Beat on their numbers. However, their guidance was was off, right? Their guidance was weak, uh, guiding forward uh, revenues and estimates of the market. I uh, didn't like that. But uh, again, what can you say? Just an historic uh, move today in the markets. Uh, stocks were going all over the place. Uh, we had pivots and schmivots and bounces and I'm exhausted, right? I'm exhausted. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are. So the most important things now that we're all time highs, now that we are, you know, election is in our rear view window. What happens tomorrow? Number one, we're up 1500 points in the Dow, three and a half percent on the NASDAQ. Is it conceivable we get some profit taking tomorrow? Yeah, we should. I mean, honestly, at least at the open, right? We really should. Yeah, this magnificent move uh, into the close. Um, I think some profit taking tomorrow uh, is going to be healthy, right? The good part about the profit taking is all these stocks that broke out, right? The Amazons of the world and the videos of the world, obviously the Teslas of the world who uh, you know, they were coming, forget about the 300 weeklies for Tesla, guys. They were coming for the 340s of December. It's like they kind of like bypassed the 300 calls and went directly, directly into like the 340s in December, right? That's insane. Guys, you see how this flag is? You don't have to be an experienced trader to figure this out, right? You see the flag here on Tesla? This is a 60 minute view on Tesla. If Tesla gets above this flag tomorrow, you could have a day two, Okay. What I'd like to see first, if possible, what I'd like to see first, if possible, is if we can get a dip into rising support. Now, you see all these all these uh, lines that uh, you know new traders will look at that they have known anything, have, don't know anything about the PS60 theory or anything about me. Why do you got so many lines, bro? You don't need all these lines. Well, these lines kind of tell me where the stock is going to get is going to balance at the stock, and all these lines are going to tell me where the stock is going to get rejected. So the moral of the story is we want to see one of these lines, right? Get tested, hold, trap shorts, go red to green. And if it takes out today's channel, folks, we could see a move uh, north of uh, 300. Uh, same thing with Amazon. You had a breakout today, uh, a breakout today uh, stemming all the way back from July. Same notes as Amazon. They were pounding, folks, pounding the 205, 210 weeklies the 220s for uh, December. So same notes, right? We want to see a dip in, in Amazon, some profit taking, let it trap some shorts, let it go right to green, take out today's channel and just start flying to 210. Amazon, it's pretty much any stock. Amazon, NVIDIA, right? Those are my, you know, those are my go-tos. Amazon, NVIDIA, Tesla, Google, right? Those are the names. But speaking of Meta, Speaking about, because if, if you guys remember, Meta did not have bad earnings. They did not. Okay. The reaction to Meta wasn't great, but they did not have bad earnings. You see how many times, and again, granted, the stock didn't participate in today's rally because again, like I, I, I mentioned that it was, you know, an anti-Trump stock. So if you notice today, Meta got tested the 50-day moving average and bounced. You see this little channel here, folks? You see this little channel here that's building below the, the 5, 10, and 20-day cross? All three of them are kind of sitting together, okay? 
if Meta wakes up and keep this in mind, there's no, you know, there's no profit taken in Meta. If Meta, all it needs to do is reclaim back this 10, 25 day cross and Meta could explode. We did see some end of the day, 600 calls coming in with pretty, pretty good aggression. So we definitely want to uh, keep an eye on uh, Meta going into uh, tomorrow's session. Let me see what else I want to, let me see what else I want to talk about this evening. Pretty basic stuff, man. I mean, pretty basic game plan for tomorrow. Oh, I also like Roblox, right? I like Roblox. Roblox had good earnings about a week ago, consolidated, touched the five day, higher, 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 low. All it needs to do is get back above, uh, get back above uh, its earnings highs and you should see the next leg up. So historical day, guys. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, if you are seeking uh, a way to kind of, you know, kickstart your career and you've been following me and, you know, talking to me on social media and all that good stuff and you're interested in pivots, guys, again, all you need is 30 days. That's it. All you need is 30 days. Click the link below. Test drive for 30 days. You get all the bells and whistles along with the webinar, uh, the option flow, uh, you know, you have, you have uh, the squawk box, all the institutional news breaking. Uh, I speak for six hours a day. I hold your hand. I play wet nurse. I play priest, rabbi, and everything in between. And the most important part is we're looking at the market that we have, not the market that we want. Guys, have a great night, everybody. I'm going to go get some rest. Hope everybody is doing well. God bless you all. God bless America. Take care, and I will see you all tomorrow.